Hey everyone, this is Dan. We're back with another Linux Tech Sub customization video, and in this video, I'll be customizing the Endeavor OS, and I will install Hyperland on it, and I will just customize the Hyperland and uh, make it look like this. So make sure to watch the video till the end, and let's just get started. So the first thing that you will need is the project file, and you can find the link of this project file down in the description of this video. So after you download the project file just make sure to have it inside the downloads directory like this just extract the project file and uh, give it inside the downloads directory now inside the project file here let's just go ahead open up these commands that i have put together for you guys so just go to the terminal and then just copy and paste these commands one by one Now just reboot your computer or simply just log out. Now here on the bottom left corner select Hyperland and type your password. Alright guys so as you can see that we are in Hyperland right now and this is how it's gonna look like after you just installed the Hyperland. So here to open a terminal you can press the Windows key or the super key and then press Q to open a terminal and to close the terminal or any application just press Windows key on your keyboard and then press C to close the terminal all right so let's open a terminal and I will open Nemo all right so let's go ahead and open another one like this okay so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the home directory and you can right click and click on show hidden files if it's not like this. So just right click and click on show hidden files and then you will find the dot config directory. And so on one window, I will have this dot config open. On the other one, I will go to my project file and from here what i will do is i will select this one this one this one this one and this one and finally this one so there's total of one two three four five six folders that you'll find inside the project file so i'll just drag and drop it inside the dot config and i'll click on merge all right click on replace and you will see that it already applied a lot of settings here so all right so guys uh, let me show you a simple shortcut and that is to open a file explorer just press windows key and then e on your keyboard so it will open this and here you can go to views and uh, make it a bit more clean if you want and also you can hide the sidebar like this so i'll keep it like this to make it more clean panel here so you can go to preferences and here you can basically what i have done here is i just added this home button over here so you can just all right so two bar like this you can select this home button and you can just customize it to your preferences so yeah that is what just one thing that i wanted to show you guys all right guys so here's what i'm going to do i'm uh, going to quickly reboot and make sure everything is working properly so let's go ahead and quickly reboot Alright guys, so I have rebooted the Hyperland and uh, although the waybar is showing up, I still have a little bit of uh, errors in here. So let's just go ahead and try to fix that. So let's go ahead and go to dot config and then go to hyper and then open the Hyperland config file and go all the way to line 100. So apparently this is uh, what's causing the problem so let's go ahead and let's just 
all right that kind of fixed the issue and uh, i didn't use the shadows anyway so this one bother all right guys and by the way guys uh, when i upload the project file uh, i have already fixed all these issues so don't worry guys i will have the latest file uploaded down in the description all right guys now here if i click on this second icon so this will open up a web paper so currently it doesn't have any wallpaper so let's just go ahead and quickly go to downloads project file and go inside wallpapers so i have provided some wallpapers and by the way guys i apologize for the background noise if you're hearing any um i live in a crowded place so i'm really sorry about that guys so here i'm gonna go to pictures and then i'm going to just copy and paste this inside the pictures directory and that is basically it now if i click on this wallpaper icon and you will see that it is showing up all this wallpaper so i can just click on it and it will change the wallpaper for us like this and it is actually pretty cool guys so this is very quick and let me show you the animations so let's put in the middle okay all right guys so this is the wallpaper you can change the wallpapers like this and by the way if you press the windows key and then v then it will you can you'll be able to shrink the window and move it around and while pressing on the windows key you can just move it anywhere you want and you can press windows key and v on your keyboard and it will the it will go to the the tiling window options you know the tiling window function so so that is that and the next thing that i will do is i'll go to downloads and to the project file again and this time I'll open up this color script and I'll just simply copy and paste these lines of command so it is showing me shell color scripts already exists because I have already installed the color script so let's go ahead and copy and paste the second line and make install copy and paste and that all right so once I've done that just copy and paste this line of command to make the fish as the default shell now if i close the terminal and open the terminal again you will see that it automatically opens fish for us so as you can see that every time i open a terminal it is showing that this introduction again guys i am sorry extremely sorry for the background noise so I want just want to remove it. So for that, just copy and paste these lines of commands. Type end. And this one. All right. Now let's go ahead and close the terminal and open a new terminal. And you will see that it has this cool color script showing up. All right, guys. So actually, we are almost done. So let me show you a couple of things, such as um, you can type B top, and or you can type C matrix. This is pretty cool. Or you can type C matrix dash R, or you can type color script and type all, and it will show you all the color scripts. So if you type color script dash e and then just any of the names these names so let's say this one and it will show up so let me show you again so there you go so what else let's see you can type neo fetch and you will have this cool neo fetch effect all right guys uh actually we are not done so here you can do is you can click on this icons and you can also open the file explorer and terminal and this one for the browser firefox and i have some things left to do and that is 
make the Rofi work. So if I click on this icon, like nothing will happen, but that is because I have to install Rofi first. The Rofi launcher, so go to downloads, project file, and go to links. And I have provided this Rofi themes links. So if you can go to Firefox and paste it. And here, just download the zip file and and once it is finished install uh, downloading i will show you the rest of the installation process of rofi all right so if i open a terminal and type just rofi and you will see actually not this i have to type rofi dash show dvran so it will so it will show the default rofi theme which is which doesn't look that good so i'm going to install these themes and all credit goes to these guys who created all these themes so these are actually pretty cool you can use it anywhere all right so once i've downloaded that let's go ahead and open it and right click and quickly extract it and once i've extracted that i can zip this rofi master let's go ahead and close the firefox and uh, by the way i have given all these kitty themes sway lock themes and new fetch themes links and i got these themes from these github pages so you can check those out all credit goes to them who created the kitty and sway lock and new fetch themes so so that's why i provide all these links uh, you can check this out let's say you can check out Check out the new fetch themes and swellock themes, and these are actually pretty cool. So here I'm going to go inside Rofi Master and um, let's go ahead and go to permission. Make sure it is allow as executing. All right. So here's what I'm going to do is open a terminal, go to downloads, and then here go to Rofi Master and then what i will do is just run the script and as it says inst successfully installed and i'm going to clear the terminal and go to home directory go to dot config and here it should show the rofi folder there you go this is the rofi folder so what i'll do is inside the project file I will just copy and paste the launchers and power menu just copy and paste it here and click on merge apply to all merge replace all right so now it should work but for that i have to just quickly restart or reboot the system so let's just quickly do that all right guys so as you can see that Rofi launcher is working properly and I have Swaylock over here and I have the power menu theme and this is actually pretty neat and clean and I think I have covered every topic so I hope this video is helpful guys and if if it was make sure to give it a like and subscribe i would really really appreciate that and thank you so much for getting the memberships and for the donations i really really appreciate this guys i cannot thank you guys enough and i really need this support right now yeah and also you can get the wallpaper pack from the description for phones and tablets and desktops and yeah that is uh, it guys i